Uh, he just seems to be fixated on Golovkin. Uh, he, I've seen three or four pieces in the last couple of weeks where he's talking about he could beat Golovkin, he could do this to Golovkin, he could do that to Golovkin. It looks like he's, like he's laying the groundwork for something, uh, whether it's Golovkin or somebody else. He's laying the groundwork for a comeback. Yo, what up, Fight fans? That was just a little clip. Team Golovkin responding to Floyd Mayweather's comments earlier today. He said that if Gennady Golovkin beats Andre Ward, then he'll come out of retirement and fight Gennady Golovkin. And we all know Floyd Mayweather is a fucking clown, a fucking idiot troll. A few weeks ago, Floyd was saying in the media that Gennady Golovkin, oh, he's easy work. He's easy work. He's straight up and down, no special effects. Now he comes out today and says, If Gennady Golovkin beats Andre Ward, then I'll fight you. Then I'll fight you, Triple G. But before, Triple G was easy work, no special effects, straight up and down. <laughs> this guy's a fucking clown, man. Exploit a straight up clown. And I'm going to tell you what the problem is. See, Gennady Golovkin pulled this fucking hoe card. Put Floyd Mayweather's skirt up and showed everybody. Put this damn skirt up and showed you what kind of coward he was. He said, I'll go to 154 and fight you. I'll drain my mother motherfucking self down to 154 and i still whip your ass. And Floyd been pissed off ever since. And I heard a motherfucker today want to blame Amir Khan for Floyd being a coward. Man, Floyd been a fucking coward his whole career. Look at the pattern, man. He wants the, the biggest purse for the easiest fights. He's always been that way, man. You want to blame Amir Khan for Floyd being a coward? Saying it's, it's Amir Khan's fault. Danny Garcia got that title. Man, that fucking Danny Garcia, Robert Guerrero fight, that fight was signed months ago while Amir Khan was negotiating with Manny Pacquiao. And the fight wasn't even a title fight. They made that a WBC title fight at the last fucking second. They skipped over Amir Khan. Amir Khan ain't ducked no damn fight with Danny Garcia. So you want to blame Amir Khan for Floyd being a fucking coward fighting Danny Garcia. He might have fought Danny Garcia any fucking ways. Floyd do what the fuck he want to do. He fought Andre Berto for God's sakes, man. The dude fought Andre fucking Berto. After he just got knocked out by Soto Karras. The man has always been a coward, man. Don't try to blame Amir Khan for that shit. Then we got another motherfucker comparing him. Get your dumb ass back on the block, man. And sell. Go do that shit you do on the block, man. Because your stupid ass ain't got no business talking boxing. Heard some damn wannabe gangster talking about comparing Sugar Ray Leonard to Floyd to my Sugar Ray was washed up at 34. Y'all know Sugar Ray had the fucking eye problem, the torn retina. Ali got washed up a little earlier. He had the fucking Parkinson's. But guess what? If Floyd would have fucking fought... Shane Mosley in his prime and Manny Pacquiao in his motherfucking prime, that motherfucker wouldn't have been fighting past 35 either. He would have been washed up. He fought all those legends on the back end of, of their career, man. It's a reason Sugar Ray Leonard was washed out at 34, fighting Tommy Hearns all them wars. It's a reason his eye was all messed up with a torn retina. He went through wars with Hagler, Hearns, Duran. Floyd never went through those kind of wars with those fighters, man. Those type of fighters. If he would have fought Shane Mosley, Manny Pacquiao in 2009, Manny Pacquiao retired Oscar De La Hoya. And I'm getting tired of y'all bringing this fucking coward, mentioning with these damn legends, man. Like Sugar Ray Leonard, Muhammad Ali. Don't mention that fucking coward with them guys, man. Stop mentioning this guy with those legends, man. You're embarrassing your fucking self. Like Roger Mayweather say, y'all motherfuckers don't know shit about boxing. Don't mention that damn coward with these legends, man. Because had he fought those guys in his prime, he would not be fighting past 35. His ass would be on the downside of his career, fighting all those guys in their prime. Sugar Ray Leonard fought those guys in their fucking prime. That's why his eye was all fucked up. That's why he was down and out at 34. Had nothing left in him. Fighting Tommy Hearns takes a lot of you, takes years off your career, man. Fighting Duran twice. A fucking legend. That takes years off a career. Floyd was able to last in the game longer. He ain't fought no fucking body. Who he fought? When did he fight him? This is why he's fighting past 40. And 39 and shit. He ain't taking no punishment. He ain't fighting a prime Shane Mosley. A prime Pacquiao. If he fights a prime Mosley and Pacquiao. 
Trust me, he ain't fighting past 35. I can guarantee you today, Floyd would not be fighting past 35 had he fought a prime Pacquiao and a prime Sugar Shane Mosley. That's why he ain't going nowhere near Gennady Golovkin, man. Y'all stop bullshitting with yourself. Stop with this nonsense, man. Stop blaming Amir Khan for Floyd Mayweather being a coward. Stop comparing this guy to these legends, man. The man won't fight Triple G. He's ducking Triple G. Tell the shit what it is. He's a straight fucking coward and a duck. Talking about if you beat Andre Ward, then I'll fight you. Nah, you said the man was easy fucking work. You said he was no, no special effects, straight up and down. Now you want to make these fucking excuses, man. Man, y'all get the hell out of this shit. Because y'all motherfuckers don't know shit about no boxing, man. Shut your fucking shit down, man. And with that said, I'm out. Y'all can feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. I get pissed off, man. People paying this, comparing this damn coward to sugar.